can see they're definitely a mating pair at the moment. Ooh, a little bit of growl. Oh, I just reverse a little bit so we can get a better view. Uh, sorry, Paul, I'll be back to your question. Uh, normally, as I said, it's probably once every two or three days. It can be as regular as every day, depending on the size of what they catch. Uh, and it can even go as long as 10 days. But they're not the best hunters. Now, on average, you're looking at about a success rate of about 12 to 13 percent. There you go. So when is Jean Grey? Not good. You're looking at a success rate of uh, around 12, 12 to 15 percent. So only sort of every 1.5 times out of 10 that they chase something will they actually catch it. Now of course if they had a 100 percent success rate there'd be no other animals left out in the bush. You can see on her, her ears are flicking and she, if you look carefully there's hundreds of little biting flies around her ears. And they can cause quite a bit of irritation uh, to the animals out here. And they're not exclusively on the cats, they're on almost everything. And there are little blood-sucking flies called stable flies in other parts of Africa and, and other parts of the world, relatives of them, and uh, in some cases the exact same species, cause great discomfort uh, to domestic animals and actually can transmit some diseases to domestic animals. With the wild animals, they're immune to the diseases transmitted by the stable fly. Of course, empty name, where you have stables and lots of animals congregated in one place, you're going to get lots of flies. They breed in the feces of animals. Oh, here we go. A good leg rest. Now, you're not supposed to have favourites out in the bush, but you always do. And, uh, this particular lioness is definitely my favorite out of all the Nkuhuma ladies. Uh, we call her Amber Eyes, for those who are new. And she's got absolutely exquisite eyes. Slightly different color from the other lionesses. Sorry, I've just noticed something going on behind. I'm gonna move forward a second. There's a Gabar goshawk that's killed a bird and is being bombed by a drongo.